the next wave of AI is coming. And you don't have to take my word for it because that's what Jensen Wong, the CEO and founder of NVIDIA said this week. He was at Computex, one of the world's largest computer chip conferences. It's where all the leading chip companies from NVIDIA to AMD to Intel, they show off their latest bleeding edge chips that will be coming later this year and into the future. But it's what Jensen Wong said that's what's coming next is the most exciting from an investment standpoint. What industry was he talking about? Who will benefit? And more importantly, how you can make money. I'll try to answer those questions for you today. What is going on investors? Hopefully you guys are doing well out there. Welcome to the Bleeding Edge newsletter. So the state of AI, it really seems to constantly be changing, but in reality, it's more or less at a standstill. And we saw evidence of this last week as software companies reported earnings, one after another came up short of expectations. Sure, you have models like ChatGPT and Meta's Llama models and sub several others. They've gotten more sophisticated and maybe a little faster over the past year, but nothing groundbreaking. Much of that has to do with the fact that current generation GPUs made by NVIDIA, they're basically maxed out from a performance perspective, but that's all about to change. Later this year, NVIDIA is going to roll out their highly anticipated Blackwell GPUs. The chip has such a dramatic increase in capabilities that companies like Amazon have actually paused orders of NVIDIA's current designs. During his Computex keynote, Jensen Wong showed a chart that illustrates just how much of a performance increase the new Blackwell chips are set to deliver. Measuring performance in T-flops, Blackwell is a 5x increase over the previous generation. This performance level increase is surely going to raise the bar once again on large language models like OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's Gemini, what they can create and do. But that's not what Jensen Wong said is coming next. And as investors, that's not all that exciting anyways. That's because mega tech giant companies like Google and Microsoft and Meta, they'll likely maintain a leadership position in enterprise software, social media, and search engines, no matter how great NVIDIA chips are in the future. But there is an industry that is ripe for innovation, one where many companies in industry stand to benefit. And that's where Jensen Wong and NVIDIA have shifted their focus. But look, it's not just the great minds over in NVIDIA. In fact, if you followed our Bleeding Edge newsletter, you would know that I have been very bullish on this sector as well. In fact, back in January at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Nevada, I identified it as the biggest investment trend of the next couple of years. That, of course, is robotics. With the dramatic increase in performance, NVIDIA Blackwell chips will bring data centers just in a couple of months. Expect a tidal wave of advancements coming very soon. Large companies with an obvious inside track are your Amazons, Walmarts, and I believe Tesla as well. During NVIDIA's keynote, Jensen Wong specifically called out Siemens, manufacturer Foxconn, transport company ArcBest, Teradyne, and numerous other smaller startups as well. The aspect about robotics that is more exciting than the current AI investments is it won't just be software and hardware companies that are set to benefit. Everything from fast food restaurants to trucking companies stand to benefit. That's really exciting. And if Jensen Wong is correct, this is what's coming next. I'll be sure to keep you updated as this exciting trend is just now starting to take off. And as Blackwell releases later this year, we should see rapid advancement in this industry. That was the Bleeding Edge for today. I'll be back later this week. I'll see you then.